Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. that they're going to be here talking about a new survey that finds that many women of childbearing age with chronic inflammatory autoimmune disease feel they don't have adequate information. I want to thank you ladies for joining us. If we could start with you, Dr. Wright, and talk about this condition. Uh, tell me about the survey. So this survey was really an eye-opener, and this was really targeting women with chronic inflammatory arthritis and other chronic autoimmune diseases. And what we found was that almost half of these women chose to delay their plans for pregnancy or not to become pregnant at all. And then a third of these women discontinued their medicines either while they were planning, when they became pregnant, or afterwards when they may be breastfeeding if they so choose. Only 41% of women consulted a healthcare professional. So really there's a disconnect and lots of fears and concerns around pregnancy when a woman is struggling with a chronic uh, illness like these. When, you, when they make these choices on their own, is there risk for them? Well, there may be, and so it's important really to have the appropriate care plan in place with your provider to understand whether or not there are strategies that we need to put in place well before you start to think about pregnancy, as well as how to manage you during the pregnancy. I'd like Rosanna. Rosanna, uh, you've become well qualified to speak on this. What are some of the concerns that you had during motherhood because you have the chronic condition? Yes, I do. I have rheumatoid arthritis. I've had it for over 30 years, and I've dealt with chronic pain. And along with that, I've dealt with the emotional burden of not knowing if I was able to have a family of my own, which is something that was very important to me. So when I became an adult, I realized that I needed to take matters into my own hands, and I needed to find a doctor who would help me to live the life that I wanted to lead and would help me during my family planning process before before pregnancy, during pregnancy, and then, and then afterwards. And as a result, my, my RA is very well managed. I have a wonderful husband and two amazing children, and I am enjoying every, every minute of being a mother. So you were intuitive enough to know that you needed direction and guidance. You couldn't do this on your own? I, I think that it would have been very helpful for me to have resources available so that I would have known specific questions to ask Dr. Wright during my family planning process. I'm going to go back to Dr. Wright. Dr. Wright, what does this survey say about some of the biggest concerns of women of childbearing age who live with chronic, this chronic condition? Well, the concerns that women had really span the spectrum. There are fears about, can I become pregnant? Um, can I have a healthy baby? Um, what do I do with my, uh, my therapeutic strategies? Uh, just, it's the same concerns that other women have, but the problem here is that women chose not to become pregnant. Um, and so this really disrupts, for many women, something that they really consider very important. I think this Facebook question know that with this chronic condition, being a rheumatoid doctor, is this just a choice a woman should make alone? Or should she bring her partner? Well, women are free to bring their care partners or other family members, whoever is your support community. But this is really uh, a decision that is going to affect your body. It's something that really has to be personalized towards you and your needs. But everybody needs to understand the struggles that you face and really how to best support you in this. So if at all possible, absolutely. Bring your partner or whoever you wish to have support you on this journey. I'll go back to Rosanna just to wrap up. Rosanna, where is your life now today? Give us an update. I have uh, two amazing children, and they are both uh, healthy and happy, and uh, my, my disease is well managed where I'm able to do everything with them that, that I would love to do, taking them to the park and taking them to school, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. I like segueing on that positive note. Thank you for speaking on your personal life. 
exactly right. Mm-hmm. My audience, and I know there are women in the audience who these questions get home to, and that's why I wanted to do this interview. Where can they go to get more information? Well, I'm here with UCB, so we have the AIM movement, and that platform is available on the website, AIMotherhood.com. They can share stories, get the tools to ask the right questions, and get information about family planning and disease management. I want my audience to know that Dr. Grace Wright is a rheumatologist in New York, and she's affiliated with NYU Langone Medical Center. And Rosanna is a patient. Thank you, ladies, for joining us on this important topic. It's been my pleasure. Thank Thank you you for having me.